Hey guys, Carlo Customs here, and I'm here to make a tutorial video on how to make Lego Fine Edge of Phrase hands out of clay. So, a, in my last video, a user commented and told, asked me to show how I do my heads. And I figured since I'm not really going to bake them or anything, I'm just going to do it quickly because it seems so I can get to you guys closer and also I can like stop this little hiatus I've been on. And to show a sneak peek of my Lego Batman Arkham Knight Wave 2 figures. So that's first glance. And now on to making this thing. So first off, you're going to need a one by one cylinder brick. And, uh, you can use, like, a one-by-one one regular brick or, like, a regular head. But the thing is, you, you want to have an outcome that can... You want to start off with a base that's, like, very thin, which a head can't be. And, like, a regular one-by-one one brick is, uh, a little, like, choppy and, like, um, smooth on the side. Well, like, hard, pointy on the side. So, this is, like, the thinnest option that can get you good results. So, we are just going to go ahead, using some Sculpey clay, we're just going to wrap, like, a layer all around here. It should be something like this. So, I have a little dome wrapping all the way around the brick. And so, to start with some facial features, we should start with the jaw area. So, you want to get some pebbles of clay like this like pebbles about this size and you want to like place it on here so we're starting to build up his muzzle area well at least that's what I think it's called and so you can like get like a huge like roll it out like cut down the middle like to show like the separation but I'm just going to try to do this quickly and I'll cut out whatever is taking too long because you guys can get the point by now so so you'll need that and using like a toothpick or something like that you could um, uh, draw a line going down here to just like so you can really like show off the crease so yeah I just gotta pad that out so something like that uh, you may want to fix up a little bit like rub it a little should look something like that and to top it off, we are just going to grab a tiny little clay pebble. And we're just going to roll it up, and we're going to push it like that. Squeeze it so we have a nice triangle that we are going to place right here to form the note, Freddy's nose. This could be Golden Freddy as well, I forgot to mention, but yes, they're two similar characters, so you can, it's better so you can use the same technique over again. And for the bottom of his mouth, you can start off by just rolling out a coil of this clay and and you can't have a Freddy without some teeth so what you're gonna do is get some clay bits you're gonna dot it all the way around all the way around the coil so I'm gonna get teeny tiny bits I'll be back in a sec just like that with tiny pebbles you can fill in uh, Freddy's bomb jawline so, what we're going to do now is to move on to the hat. So, try your best to coil up a ball, like roll it up into a little thing like that. And, like, you can just, um, and if it's in a perfect ball and you push it flat, it should come out to a perfect flat circle. Perfect ball, as far as I can see. So, it should look something like that. So, we're just going to place it. Oh, and mind the barking of my dogs. If you can hear that. So what we are going to do is just place that on top of there. It should look something like that. Try to not make it as long as I did. So, you know, just something like that, you know. So make sure it's like noticeable. I didn't do too good because I'm trying to do this a little quicker. So that's it. And now we're going to work on making, coiling up this bit for his hat. So it could be like a little bit. It could be just get a little coil going. You gotta roll it up real good. Not too big. And then we're just going to have to, we're going to want to actually just top it off right there. Top off our freeze, freeze head. 
just like that. Then we'll get some ears. Then with a uh, Q-tip, uh, with uh, like a, a toothpick, and like uh, maybe fix up his hat area, maybe like I did here. So that should be it for Freddy. So now let's move on to our next animatronic. Now time for Bonnie. And for Bonnie, you're going to want to do the same process. So you're going to start off with, like, dome around the brick. And what you're going to want to do now is add the muzzle like we did with Freddy. And the teeth. So I'm just going to repeat that process and get back to you all. Alright, so here we go. This is what Bonnie should look like. Same process as Freddy because in the game they own similar facial constructions. Construction besides the ears yeah that's completely different and so to make bonnie's ears you're going to make two sections you're going to coil up um uh, like some clay you're going to coil up four sections about this long take the head in comparison and about this long and make sure spikes are going through them or like a um, uh, little like uh like like paper clip bends yeah like something like that to push through there and put it down to the head because you're going to need it. So, I'm just going to stack up this and show you the final outcome. Okay, so this is what he should look like in the final outcome. Make sure you have um, uh, like little paper clip bits like cut off, stuck through there to make sure everything's nice and sturdy and won't fall off during baking because I, I just made this quickly and this is I'm not really going to put this in the oven, but... Yeah, this is what it should look like. Very similar outcome to Freddy. But anyways, let's move on to our next animatronic. So now here we are on Chica. So start off again, yes, with the dome over the brick. But the thing is, this time you want to make it more circular and make it a little bit more thicker. And the interesting bit about this, that it makes us different from the others, we're going to make it Chica's beak. So what we're going to do is get this uh, thick bit and then... We're going to rip a little bit off, rip little bits at this time, and we're going to stack them under each other. That's, well, at least that's what I'm going to do. And so we're going to make it in the shape of the beak, which I should have thought about when I made my original. Maybe, maybe I'll redo them one day or something. So we're trying to finish this off as pointy as we can, but not too pointy. So, something like that. So, something, it should look something like that. And if we stick, get the head ready and stick it on there. Hmm. You might have to forget that idea because I just messed it up. So it should look something like that, and you're going to make a layer under there. Alright, so this is more time-consuming than I thought, but the teeth on the top and bottom that I put in right there, as you can see from the bottom to the top, you can s jutting out, those took a while to put on. And uh, at the end of the top of Chica's beak, you may want to like curve it in there to make it look more bird-like. So yeah, that's what you might want to do. Oh, and if you want, you can put, like, um, uh, clay dishes for, like, the eyes, because, uh, if you want to do that, because otherwise there's nothing really much to this figure, to this head left, other than, like, yeah, other than, like, the hair, so, well, for the hair, we're just gonna do it as so. Crazy hair in the game. I'll try to keep this in camera this time. I'm really happy with the new camera angle I have now. So. Okay, so now we're going to put in the last strand and then. And there we are. There is Chica. Very well looking. I like I like how she looks. Alright, so anyways, let's move on to our final and fan favorite, Foxy. 
And for Foxy, <clears throat> we'll have to start off like we usually do with the dome around the brick. So, yeah, and then what you're going to do is on top you want to pinch the corners a little bit so you get this sort of triangle pointed shape up to the head, near the head. And now we are going to work on some facial features like uh like the snout and with teeth and his eye patch if you want his eye patched and his ears. So if you want to make his eye patch, you got to want to make sort of like a circle but like with one flat end sort of like this push it out now it's nice and flat. And we're going to find the front of his head with the pinched corners in front. And hold on. And then if it looks too stick much sticking out, you may want to, like, resize a little bit. So, here it is. If that's a little too low for you, you can do something like that. And that'll be for his eye patch. So, yeah, that is basically what you want to do. And also, you're going to make sure you have reference when you do guys like these, because they are very, like, cartoony and iconic sort of looking. I mean, not maybe iconic, but, like, they have, like, this very cartoony look. So, yeah, you may want to look carefully. This may be a little too big. Hold on. All right, so after a while, I, uh... I did like the, I did like the whole thing with the ears. I sort of made them these sort of these tipped horn looking things. You just sort of gotta work with it until it looks good after a while. And uh, also with going on for that, to make you're going to have to make the little hairs on top of Foxy's head. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and do that. So you're gonna have to do like three strands. You right here. May want to resize a little bit, or like make them shorter, like because I didn't really do that too well. And you gotta stick them up like that and do it in your own crazy fashion. Okay, so I gave him um uh, his hair. So what you want to do is make sure that they're not too thin, otherwise they'll they're more more likely to break off. And now on for the mouth, and the mouth is pretty simple. You just gotta get two um uh, sort of eyes sausages, I think they are um uh, a. Triangles like one end, one edge is not as long as the others. But what you're gonna want to do is just put them under each other. And you want to put like a little dab of clay up here for Foxy's nose. It won't focus in. Yeah, so you can see the dot. But now you're gonna fill his mouth jaw with teeth. So put pebbles of clay all on, under there. And this is the important part. You gotta rub using like a toothpick or something. You gotta like rub it all down in there so it can stick on dur to survive during baking. So you're just gonna keep on blending all around Foxy's beak and fix it up if like you leave scratches or whatnot. So as you can see, I rubbed everything. I blended everything together. And I've also taken the liberty of filling in Foxy's ear using this skewer or a toothpick, whatever you, you can use, really, that's really pointed. And so now I've scooped out to make his ear ears visible. And I'll basically have to do it for Foxy, so let's get to the conclusion of this video. So that'll have to do it for this video, guys. I Soon, very, very soon, I will be finally done with my wave, of, second wave of Batman Arkham Knight figures, and I'll get them up there as soon as possible. But for now, um, uh, this sort of goes without saying, this is the Riddler. He is about done, except for his belt buckle areas, pants details, and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you enjoy the next video to come, and goodbye.